Welcome back to Elden Ring. I have a long list of things I want to do, so let's get to it. First, some things I did off camera before starting the recording. I was looking at the spells we have. We have some new ones, and a couple of them are actually useful, which doesn't happen that often, so I'm excited about that. And there was also an old spell that... Actually, two old spells that were useful. One of which I wasn't even able to use for a long time because it took like 50 int, and I guess I just thought, ah, it'll be forever till I get to that. And I just forgot about it. So, let's go through them. First, uh, my default thing is now going to be this new spell we got called Glintstone Ice Crag. Basically, it's almost identical to the Great Glintstone Shard. It takes literally the same FP to cast. It does almost exactly the same damage. The advantage and disadvantage of it is that the good thing is that it can cause frost. Um, the bad thing is that it travels a little bit slower and it has a bit less range. So this is what I'm going to want to use generally, unless I'm out of range or, or it's too slow or something like that. Then I would switch to the Great Glintstone Shard. But otherwise, it's better. So I think this is going to be my new general spell. Like, uh, here, I can compare the damage for you and show you what it looks like. Oh, that's going to be a surprise attack damage. Let's do a normal one. 618. And for the Great Glintstone Shard... Demonstrated on these. It was 618. 629. So almost the same damage. Very, very, very slightly less. Let's see if I can freeze this big one. I think it takes... Oh, I think it took two to freeze them. Yeah, you can see they're all frosty. And now they took 740 instead of 6, whatever. So Frost doesn't actually seem to increase the damage they take that much, like, maybe 10%, perhaps? But that's still significant. And the Frost effect does last for a while, and obviously applies to anything, melee, magic, whatever you use on them, while you're still frosted. Yeah, Yeah, the Frost just wore off, I think. Okay, uh, next thing is Comet. That's an old spell we had that I was never able to use, because it takes really high int. Um... It's less efficient than Glintstone Ice Crack or Great Glintstone Shard, but it does pretty much, basically does about double the damage, and it costs a little bit more than double the FP. But it casts in a very similar way to the others. Like, you can chain it pretty much just as fast. So you can see how fast that goes. Um, and then Comet. Very similar shooting speed. You can also move, albeit slowly, while you're casting it. So it seems like pretty much just a stronger glintstone shard kind of thing. But yeah, it's less efficient, so probably not something I'm going to want to use for general enemies unless I need to do a lot of damage really quickly. Which maybe I will. Maybe I will want to. I don't know. Depends how efficient I feel like I need to be. Um, one thing about it is that it only does double the damage if I charge it up. So if I just do this fast attack, for example, come on, hit it. 377, but if I charge it up, 459. So it's significantly more damage when you charge it. So it's even less efficient when you don't charge it, of course, because charging it doesn't take more FP or anything like that. It just takes more time. But if you want to do a lot of damage really fast, oh man. Oh, one really cool thing about Comet as well is that it pierces through enemies. It'll just keep going through them, so if there's another enemy behind it, it can hit multiple. Very cool. Um, oh yeah, I put Ambush Shard back on, which is an old spell we had since practically the beginning of the game, but I just forgot about it. I was using that like Glintstone thing that where you like cast it in the air and then it explodes out and shoots a projectile maybe three, four seconds later. I was using that to hit enemies in the back, but then I realized Ambush Shard literally hits them in the back, like without having to turn the enemy around and kite them around or anything. It just goes straight from behind them. So why not just use that? I think it would just be a lot easier. That common I'm keeping. Lucidity is... Uh, I just put it in there because why the heck not? That's that new one that like cures sleep and madness or something. Oh, Carrying Retaliation is a new one. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but... Essentially, it's a magic parry. You don't use the shield. You actually cast it like a spell. 
but it's basically a parry. Use it at the right time, it will reflect magic. And also, if you do manage to reflect magic, it gives you like three of those daggers that appear above your head and then shoot out when you're near an enemy. So it kind of like converts their magic energy into something offensive. Don't know if it can repel any magic or what. I've only tested it on just like glintstone shards from the people at Rhea Lucaria. But I'll leave it in there. Great bow I'm keeping. Um, wait, did I? Oh, I think I made a mistake. There's one other spell I think I wanted to keep. We got this like frost mist thing. Yeah, let me just toss out lucidity, I guess. I don't know why I got rid of the frost mist. Uh, this one, freezing mist. Takes 20 FP and well, it just makes a cloud of mist. And if enemies step in it for a while, then they get frosted. Pretty short range. Could maybe be useful. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, other thing I did off camera is I wanted to see whether the staff from uh, Renala that we can use, that we could get from Renala's Remembrance, I wanted to see if it was better than the staff I was currently using, since we can now use it. We need 60 um, int to use it, so I'm like just above that. I'm only above that because of the um, talismans that I have. And it turns out, yeah, fully upgraded. I, I mean, as upgraded as I can make it right now, which is plus eight, it does actually have better scaling than the old one. So this has 265, and the old one has 245. So does significantly more damage, not a massive increase yet, but it's only going to get better as I upgrade it. I'm missing out on the boosting of gravity sorceries, but oh well. And this one boosts full moon sorceries, of which I think there are only two spells, and one of those requires 70 int, and I would need to, do to uh, duplicate her remembrance to get it. But kind of moot, because I don't have 70 int, so I wouldn't be able to use it anyway, and I don't know where the other one is. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's all of that. That was a lot of talking. Let's do some fashion souls. So we have some things to check out. We got Rogier's armor. Man, I have so much. Um, is it Spellblade? Spellblade's traveling attire. Yeah, it must be. Did that come from Rogier? Maybe it didn't. Now I'm not totally sure, but anyway, I wanted to check it out regardless. Glintstone Sorcerer Rogier's... Oh yeah, it is theirs. Traveling attire graced with an intricate aristocratic decoration. Strengthens Glintstone Sorcery skills. Ooh! <gasps> I wonder by how much. Rogier spent his entire life behaving with utter detachment. No one noticed the anger, grief, regret, or fear that existed along with it. Looks pretty pretty from the picture. And it can be altered, I saw that. Oh, I also got a Lazuli robe when I was testing out the, um, that, like, magic parry at Rhea Lucaria. This looks kind of pretty. Well, yeah, let's just see what it looks like. It's not bad. Um... Let me move to a location that doesn't look like this. That doesn't look like hell frozen over. Well, this isn't great either. <laughs> Maybe daytime when it's not raining, please? That's better. Yeah, it's like a very, very light blue. Quite desaturated. Not bad looking, but not that fancy. Okay, spell blades, traveling attire. Um. Okay, it looks kind of weird with the greaves. Strengthens glintstone sorcery skills. So does each piece of armor separately strengthen? Or do I just need to wear one? Or I wonder how that works. Anyway. This, oh yeah, that goes a lot better than those Crucible Greaves.
Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know. It's cool, but it's not. It doesn't feel very me. It feels a little, especially with the the boots. It feels a little jestery. I really do like that strengthens glintstone sorceries, though. What's the headpiece? Covers up too much. Oh, it is cool altogether, though. Still missing a piece, of course. Traveler's gloves? No, spell lights gloves. Those are cute. Yeah, let me look up how much it boosts sorceries by. Surprisingly, the wiki doesn't really have any useful information on um, how much it boosts damage wearing this armor set. The comments did mention something interesting, though, and I did some testing on my own. So the comments mentioned that it doesn't actually boost the damage of glintstone sorcery spells, but rather like glintstone weapon arts. Things such as the moon veil, like that thing. I don't know if the nebula on this weapon would count. Not sure. It's not really the right color, so perhaps not. But anyway, yeah, so it's more weapon art glintstone things. And in nowhere, not any person or even on the main wiki page did it mention how much the armor increased your damage by. So I did a little bit of testing and rough numbers. It seems like, well, for one, each armor piece does have its own separate effect. So it's not just wearing one armor piece gets you the whole benefit or anything like that. Um, every piece has its own little bonus. It seems like each piece gives you roughly 2% damage increase. That's measured just using this attack. And that's with the blade hitting, which means you have both that like glintstone thing shooting forwards further than the blade, and then also the blade physically hitting itself. So that number is probably kind of inaccurate, but with the blade hitting them, it was 2% per armor piece. So for a total of about an 8% damage boost. Significant, but not massive. Not enough to make me wear this if I hated it. And I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So um, let's try some other things. Maybe some of these things, like the gloves perhaps, or the leggings, would mix well. Oh, um, we can also modify them. Can get rid of the cape, as always. I think that's it. Yeah, it's the only thing we can modify on it. Nah, still don't like it. I think I'd prefer the cape, actually. And definitely not wearing the hat, but the other pieces, possibly. Okay, we have a couple other things to check out as well. Things that I think I altered and then never tried. Don't like that. Albrecht's robe altered. Oh right, I got rid of those massive shoulders. Okay, well the shoulders don't look massive anymore. Mm. No, I like the elegance of a dress. Did I alter anything else? Ooh, we get a little side boob. I can kind of like full on just see my tit in there. I don't even think I'm wearing a bra. Yeah, I couldn't find anything else that looked good. Um, except I'm wondering about the gloves. So what was I wearing before? Was it the Gotska Noble bracelets maybe? I think I was wearing the bracelets. So yeah, bracelet versus this. I do like the green jewel. It's elegant. Hmm. Curious about the stats. Uh, the Spellblades gloves are just worse at everything, but we would get that like 2% damage bonus that we might never see on anything we use, who knows. But nah, forget that. Just, just fashion. I think I prefer the bracelets. I 
Another thing I want to do, because I haven't spoken with them in forever, let's see if there's something new to talk to... was it Fia about? I am pleased. No, nothing to speak about. Good day to you. Oh, before I do the next thing, I should probably spend my souls just in case I die. Let's go with Dex. D's younger brother is up here. Let's see if we can speak with them now. They still don't talk. Because the bestial sanctum was someplace that the older brother D told me to go to, I wonder if I could progress the quest line by defeating Garonk now. Hopefully they won't one-shot me now. It's been a while. Oh, that didn't take much. Okay, yeah, they just needed a little reminder to not kill me. Little do much death route this morning. speak with them now? Yeah. M well, kind of. <laughs> I can talk at them. I guess I don't have any more death root. Kind of curious about defeating this thing out here, because isn't it a boss? Let's see if it one shots me still, too. Almost, but nope. Ugh. It occurs to me that they might not actually be an enemy, even though I can target them. They are standing guard in the Bestial Sanctum, and I am a member of the Sanctum. Uh, usually you can't target NPCs, but... Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't even try to kill it. Like, what if it would piss off Garonk? Let's open the jail with the Dung Eater's Jail key. That... It seems to be their corporeal form that they mentioned. Everything that matters to you for generations to come. I am the Dung Eater, a scourge upon the living. Who are you? Um. I feel like I should just kill them. I, is there anything in here? No. Say nothing. Oh, I am the doom, the scum must. Wow, lover ahead and behold dung. Very useful, thank you. Let me Okay, um, leave your jail. I've been here long enough. I will kill again. And defile each corpse with care. Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed, along with their children and their children's children, for all time to come. Yeah, I don't think I should let them go. I oh, will kill again. Just to be sure they'll be cursed.
No. Oh, couldn't see a damn thing. Hope they're still there when I get back. Yes, they're still here. Oh no! So what does that mean for the Dung Eater in the Round Table Hold? Omen Helm. That thing is disgusting. Everything is disgusting. 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 Interesting. Bit of strength. Bit more dex. Oh, causes blood loss. And it has a special, special Shriek of Milos. It's a great sword. Sinister- oh, whoa, <laughs> holy crap, I didn't see the blade. No wonder it causes bleeding. Sinister greatsword fashioned from a giant's backbone. Mets out wounds like a lopsided saw blade and restores some FP upon defeating an enemy. Milos was undersized for a giant and was viewed as sullied and terribly grotesque. The Shriek lets out a horrific cursed scream that reduces all damage negation and status resistance for nearby foes. Hmm. While active, strong attacks will change to a combo attack. Interesting. What did it take again? 15 strength? Yeah, I did one more strength than I could um, single hand it. I'm very intrigued by that. And let's go back to the round table hold. The Dung Eater. Is gone. Okay. I killed their corporeal form and it seems to have gotten rid of their spirit form as well. I wonder if Roderica has anything to say about that because I'm pretty sure that's the person they were warning us about. So maybe we can tell them. Nope. Just can't say anything. Let's test out the sword. So it's got very slow greatsword attacks, as you'd expect. But I'm very curious about the special, so it's going to change our strong attack into a combo attack. Oh, you can see the effect on the enemy. It's got a pretty wide range. I wonder how long it lasts. Looks like they're on fire. They're not actually taking damage, though. It just debuffs them, debuffs their damage negation. Lasts for a Good amount of time. Let's see what our combo looks like. Oh, I think it wore off. Uh, well, it seems to have worn off on us before it wore off on the enemy. Interesting. Ah! Let's see. Yeah, pretty good range. Okay, so the combo. Oh, very heavy attacks. Oh, right, and it gives you some FP back. I didn't see how much. That's just the normal effect. You don't need the um, buff for that. I also want to know how much it decreases their damage negation. So let's just do a normal attack. I want to make sure they can see me so it's not a surprise attack damage. 160. Yeah, 160. No, no, didn't mean to do that. Let's debuff him. 191, 191. Okay, and how much FP do I get back? It's 
small amount. Maybe like 5 FP or something like that. Hmm. It's a pretty powerful weapon. Does a lot of poise damage, causes bleeding, gives you a little bit of FP back, can debuff the enemy. It can do a lot. I kind of want to use it. It's just very slow is the only problem. Okay, I upgraded the sword to plus seven. Also runed up so that I have enough strength to one-hand it. Gonna give it a try. One thing I did notice, though, is that even on plus seven, its scaling is pretty bad. D on strength and C on dex, even though it's plus seven. And th this is a special sword, by the way, so plus seven is actually quite high. Takes the somber smithing stones. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. But we'll see. Okay, I'm here where we defeated Astel, natural born of the void. There's this here, which I believe was sealed by Morgoth, who's now dead. I think I remembered wrong. You cannot proceed without a ring of oath. Okay, this I'm sure was sealed by Morgoth. This is the Forsaken Depths. The other seal for Morgoth is the one that leads to the Grand Lift of Rold. But yeah, this is where all the, like, merchants were dead outside. Yeah, this, there was a seal right here. Oh my god, there's so many more even inside. The fuck? Oh. There's one alive. Seems to be an enemy. Yellow Ember. I think that's from Madness. Are you going to try to attack me? Not yet. I'm just going to leave him alone then. Try jumping. Not yet. My god. Be wary of precious item. Try luring out. God. That is incredibly powerful. Ah, don't target them. Chill. Set. Nomadic Merchants Chap Chapo Finery and Trousers. Chapo of a Nomadic Merchant, decorated with tiny gems and a wide spectrum of colors. These merchants once thrived as the Great Caravan, but after being accused of heretical beliefs, their entire clan was rounded up and buried alive far underground. Jesus. Then they chanted a curse of despair and summoned the Flame of Frenzy. So this is their entire clan that was rounded up and buried alive. Fuck. Aw. It's cute. I like it in the front, not that much in the back. Nomadic Merchant's Finery. Oh, it's like, kind of like a peacock or something. <laughs> That's really cool. But, back to the dress for me.
confusion ahead. Yeah, I'm confused as well. How are you supposed to get that? Huh? I don't get it. Frenzied Cookbook 2. Frenzy Flame Stone. Uses FP to continuously heal Chaos Followers. What's a Chaos Follower? There is actually a pathway down there, just a real scary one. I'm most likely going to die. Do I have a twig? No. I haven't gotten a sacrificial twig in forever. Can you craft them? No. still alive. Whew. Inescapable frenzy. Probably an incantation. Yeah. I did it! another item, like, hidden in a place you can't get. What? Precious item? Eh? Fingerprint stone shield. Takes 48 strength. Causes madness buildup. Whoa. A great stone shield with an intricately carved fingerprint design. One of the heaviest of all great shields. Part of the tomb of an ancient god. The readerless fingers relayed their message through these imprints, said to be the very seeds from which Frenzy first sprouted. Weighs 29.
yeah, my wife was thinking that um, the explosions from madness would cause the uh, structure to break and then we can get the item. And they're right. Yes. Michaela's needle. Okay, so there's another item up above that I want to get. I gotta remember that. I need to explode it. The Empyrean Michaela crafted a needle to resist the influence of outer gods. Those who have inherited the flame of frenzy yet wish not to become its lord would do well to seek Michaela's needle. Was that the... Is that a different needle than the gold needle we found? I think it is. Different. Resist the influence of outer gods. Huh. Inherited the flame of frenzy yet wish not to become its lord. Attacking required ahead. I don't know. I don't think there's a reason to attack him. I was expecting there to be a boss down here. Like, right down here. Not just yet. Frenzied Flame Proscription. Hidden path ahead, try rolling. They pointed over in this direction. First off, ahead and then right. Aha! Uh -huh. I gotta fave this message over here because it was a very good one. Hidden path ahead, try rolling points directly to it. That's a good message. Secret ahead. This is a whole thing. I mean, obviously it is if there's a sight of grace here. Uh, let's save that. I want to finish this place first because it's literally a different region. Okay, this door looks horrifying. Armor? No armament ahead. What? What is that? This is a no attacking zone. The little icon on the left side of the screen prevents me from attacking. Why is this a no combat zone? What is this? I think one of these messages did say right first, didn't it? Well, it says ahead and then right. But it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do here. Let's explore here, then. Ah, 
Oh yeah. Horsey time. Could this be a dog? Aww. Range is too short. Not actually sure I can get that item. Unless. Oh yeah. procession. Well, I'm going to try Comet because it might pierce through more than one. Yeah, killed two. Dear God, how the hell? How did somebody leave a message there? Golden arrows. Oh, 
Oh, look at that piercing. Oh, that piercing is so good. No item ahead. I still want to check, though. Time for jumping on- There's so many messages. Erd tree stars. Have I been over there before? Like, I feel like I've already been there. We're, well, like, we're just above the area we've already explored. might be it. I'm pretty sure everything else here is just where we've already been. There's one more item to get down here. Come on, blow this up. Yeah, there you go. And I think that's all there is to this place. For now. Let's try taking on the Knights of the Great Jar once again. It's been a while. I'm stronger. Oh, they didn't get frozen. One down. Two to go. Might as well just top up, why not? Okay, they got frozen. Yes. One more to go. Oh, it didn't get frozen. <laughs> I love this weapon, it's ridiculous. What do you think of that, great jar? Hmm? Are you impressed?
they vibrated with happiness, I guess. Great Char's arsenal to a talisman. I suppose that's all we're going to get, probably. Let me just check behind them. Yeah, I think that's it. But yeah, let's see that talisman. Vastly raises maximum equip load. Oh, no kidding, but 13.4. I don't need that, but it's quite nice. A charm that resembles a great jar overflowing with weaponry. Vastly boosts maximum equipment load. The great jar grants this talisman to their warriors. Carry as much as you can. Grow big and strong. Let's get one more strength so that I can wield that weapon one-handed that I want to without being ruined up. Or actually, hmm, more int. <laughs> I want that moon. I want to see how powerful moon sorceries are. I hope it's going to be worth it. We can talk to Melina. Think not of the kindling. I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants, far above the clouds. I know I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin, but it must be done to reach the path beyond. And that is the path I wish to travel. What is your mind? I think someone before mentioned that there's going to have to be a sacrifice. Why do I get the feeling that I'm going to end up being the sacrifice? And Melina's going to turn on us or something. No idea. But it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, I think, speaking of being grown up, like the talisman said, grow big and strong. I think we're big and strong and ready to take on the war dead catacombs from the Radon battle area now. Remember, everything here one-shotted me. Now it's going to take them two shots. Let's go with Comet for this. I remember... Oh. I, oh, ah! Fuck, everything here is still really strong. Oh my god. Fucking hell. They backed me up all the way to the door that I entered the place from. I have to just bonfire again. But yeah, I am out of one-shot territory. Now I'm in two-shot. Even though I'm ruined up. God. Yeah, what was down here? I don't exactly remember how this place is organized. There's Scarlet Rot down there. I think if I want to continue deeper into this place, if there even is a deeper, like, I, it's possible I found every item because I did kind of run and just grab some items. Um, but I think if I want to go deeper, I got to go over here. Wait. There's a ball. Did I ever try to fight this boss? Or did I open it and then just ignore it? I don't remember. Oh, right. I think this... Oh, yeah. This thing was one-shotting me.
Oh no! Oh, thank God. Uh, I am scarlet rotted. That is very bad. There we go. Oh, I have no healing left. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, this is doable, but even with my cheesing weapon, it's still fucking hard. I took a dozen or two tries. A uh, golden seed and red mane knight ogre. Spirit of a mighty knight versed in the use of a great bow. A valiant warrior who will attack immediately after being summoned. The longest serving member of the red mane knights, Oga studied techniques to manipulate gravity alongside Radon. May use a rain of gravitational arrows in response to a war cry, but only once. Oh, they even have like a special if you do a war cry. Oh, that's cool. Now, I'm not sure if there's any other place I left undone. If I got the lever to open that door to the boss, then I probably did everything else. But I'm going to take a quick look off camera. Let's spend my souls before I lose them, though. Get my end up to 60. Yeah, it looks like the war dead catacombs are complete. Nothing more to get there. Yeah, glad to be done with it, <laughs> even though it's definitely easier now than before, because I'm not in one-shot territory, it's still so freaking hard. Ugh. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, frankly, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. There's uh, an almost infinite number of possible ways I could go from here. <laughs>